The terrible thing about deleting data from a database is that it's gone forever. We can't even look at it to see if it's needed because it's simply not there. If we need the data back, our only solution is to restore a backup, cross our fingers, and hope that we have a backup just before we deleted it so the loss is minimal. But what if there was a way to keep that data around and just mark it as deleted so we can still see it and quickly restore it? Thankfully, Laravel provides a built-in feature that allows us to flag database rows as deleted without actually deleting them from the database. This video discusses how to use the soft deletes trait in Laravel. Hello developers and welcome to the PHP Architect channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Scott Keck Warren and on this channel we discuss a wide variety of topics related to the PHP ecosystem. Make sure you subscribe so you can get our latest videos as they're released. So when we delete a row from a database, it's gone forever without going through a potentially painful process of doing a full database restore. Soft deleting the data just flags the row is deleted, but keeps it inside of our database, which allows us to easily view and restore the data with just a minimal amount of work, and which can be a huge time saver when the data is accidentally deleted. It also allows us to keep rows that may be associated with this delayed, deleted data that we may need for other purposes. For example, we may have data created by and therefore associated with a specific user. If their account is deleted, that data may be inaccessible. Laravel provides support for soft deleting using the Illuminate Database Eloquent Soft Deletes trait. I like to think of it as an active column that we might normally add to a model. With the active column set to one, we can still see the data, and with the active column set to zero, we don't see it. That doesn't prevent us from pulling reports based on it existing in the past, but it can prevent new data from being associated with it. The soft delete trait just abstracts this away for us. The first part of the process we need to tackle is setting up our database tables to have the columns that the soft delete trait needs. Before we go much further, we should know that this video was made with a Laravel 11.27.2, which was the most current version as of the recording, but most of this video will work with minor changes using at least the last three or four previous versions, and most likely the future versions as well. Let's start out by creating a new model to track a task inside of a task management application. We'll create the model, resource controller, and migration all in one go. Now we'll open the newly created migration and add the following lines to the up function. The table soft deletes function call is what sets up the table to allow for the soft deletes trait to work. It adds a deleted at column that will hold the date time of when the row was deleted or null if it hasn't been deleted. We'll also add a name to make our example a little easier to follow. We can use the same table soft deletes call to add the deleted at column to an existing table as well. Now we'll quickly run the migration to add the table. Now that we have our database table set up, we can start using the soft deleted models in our code. The first step is adding the soft delete trait to the model. It's important to note that even though we've added the soft delete columns to the table, Laravel doesn't automatically use it until we tell it to use this trait. We will still be irreversibly deleting data without it. Now that everything is set up, let's create a quick test task with Tinker. If we check our database, we can see that it's been processed as the database and the deleted at column is set to null, indicating that it hasn't yet been deleted. Now we can delete our task. And back in MySQL, we can see the deleted at is no longer null, which indicates that it has in fact been deleted. To restore the task, we'll simply use the restore function. And again, if we look at our database, we see that the deleted at column is in fact null. We'll have more about soft deletes after this message from our sponsors. Do you want higher clarity in production, but don't have the time to earn your degree in observability? Me too. Forget logs, metrics, and traces. Honey Badger Insights is built around structured events. When you send your application logs and other events to Honey Badger, you'll unlock the power of Honey Badger's powerful new querying language, Badger QL. 
You can then use Badger QL to ask any question about your data, convert any event into a metric, and chart your metrics on a custom dashboard. You can do all of this on HoneyBadger's free plan as part of their comprehensive monitoring suite, which includes error tracking, uptime monitoring, status pages, and more. Speaking of error tracking, did you know that an error is really just a first class event in Honey Badger? In fact, you can use Insights and Badger QL to explore all of your existing Honey Badger data in new ways. It's pretty cool. Give it a try today at honeybadger.io. That's honeybadger.io. When we're using the soft deletes trait, Eloquent is automatically going to filter out any soft deleted rows for all of our queries. But what if we actually need to see that data? For example, when we attempt to use find or fail, we'll receive a model not found exception because the soft deletes trait is filtering them out. To find the data, we'll need to call the with trashed function before we call find or fail. Now, there are going to be cases where you need to delete the data completely and not just mark it as deleted. The soft deletes trait provides the force delete function to do just this. And when we go back and check my SQL, we'll see that there's no longer any rows. So one of the gotchas that we're going to have to keep our eyes out for is when we have a model that defines an eloquent relationship to a soft deleted model. Normally, we would just define the relationship like the code on the screen. If the user associated with this task is soft deleted and we attempt to access it through the relationship, the function is just going to return null. This may be the correct logic for your application, but what if we actually want to see that person's information? The solution to this is to throw that with trashed function back in there, which will then cause it to return a result. If a user attempts to access a soft deleted model using the default routing, they're going to receive a 404 error. This makes sense, but what if we want to have it display a message indicating that it was deleted and not just a blank error page? To do this, we can again add the with trashed call to our route definition, and then the page will route as expected. Because we're interacting with the delete logic through the delete function, we can add additional logic to what happens when we delete the model inside of that function. With the soft deleting, we're losing functionality like cascading deletes that exist with inside databases. So we have to kind of roll our own, but we can do that inside the delete function. One of the things I personally like to do is track who deleted the model. This is helpful because then if somebody comes to us and says, what happened to this thing? We can not only tell them when it was deleted, but also who did it. To do this, I add a deleted by column to the model and then create logic inside of the delete function that sets the deleted at and deleted by column to the correct values and then saves the results. Ultimately, we're not going to want to have this data live in our database forever because it can impact performance as the tables get larger and larger. To help with this, Laravel provides the Illuminate Database Eloquent Prunable trait, which provides a helpful solution to automatically prune data when it kind of ages out of the window that we want it. This is not limited to being used with soft deleted tables, so feel free to use it everywhere. To do this, we'll add the prunable trait to our model and then define a prunable function. This is where we'll define the logic for which rows are going to get pruned. In this case, we're just going to delete anything that has a deleted at value. Then we can call artisan model prune to prune the data. As a brief recap, soft deletes allow us to keep data in the database even though they're marked as deleted. It makes it easier to restore and report on the data, and we can use the prunable trait to delete data after a set time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, make sure you subscribe, comment, share, and like as it does help others find us. Other topics that you'd like to see us cover, let us know in the comment section below or send me a message on phpc.social at Scott Keck Warren. I would love to know how I can help you, and it always brightens my day to hear from a fan. This is Scott Keck Warren for the PHP Architect channel signing off and reminding you to keep watching, keep coding, and keep reading.